With millions of South Africans dependent on public transport, the government is not taking any chances. Rival taxi associations have been fighting for ownership of a busy route. Confrontations have raged for years. And it's got worse. With more than 80 people killed so far this year, 24 of them in July alone. Among those injured, a five-month-old baby. Commuters, drivers and bystanders say they are living in fear. We can't exactly drive like the way we used to, you see, because you don't know when we're going. We don't know when they're going to shoot, no. We're sitting at a taxi rank and uh, two guys or three guys came and around the corner and then we're just enjoying the sunshine outside the container where we normally operate. And those guys came towards us running with guns, you know, and then they came shoot one of our colleagues. Peace talks have so far failed, prompting authorities to close the notorious route for the next two months and to make buses available to commuters as an alternative. The measures taken by government have helped to quell the violence for now at least, but commuters are still being severely affected. Every evening, thousands queue for hours before making the journey home by bus. For many, it doesn't stop there. They are then forced to walk long distances in the dark in order to get home. We don't have a bus which goes to Langa, so now I have to take a bus to the next town that is wanted me. Then I drop off there, then I walk. Yeah, I'm, I'm still scared, even now I'm not safe. I know about no, I'm not safe, see, but I'm taking the risk. With lives and livelihoods at stake, commuters, effectively held hostage by the taxi war, are desperate for a solution to the violence. Robin Smith, Al Jazeera, Cape Town.